Floyd's algorithm. It is also known as all path shortest path algorithm because it is used to find the shortest path from a given node to all the other nodes in the network. Suppose A is the source node, it is used to find the shortest path from A to all the other nodes such as B, C and D. So for constructing the, for finding the shortest path, let's go with the algorithm. So step one will be construction of D0, which is nothing but a matrix. This matrix is based on the number of nodes. If there are four nodes, then it will result in a four cross four matrix. So the values in the matrix will be filled according to these conditions. If both i is equals to equal to j, then the weight weight will be represented as nil. Else, if there is some cost between the i and j node, then that cost will be represented in the weighted matrix. Else, if there is no cost, then it is known as infinity. Then it is represented as infinity. So for now, we will construct with the D0 matrix. Since it has 4 nodes, it will be a 4 cross 4 matrix. And as I told you, if i is equal to equal to j, I can just represent it with a hyphen symbol. So a, a, b, b, c, c, d, d will all be represented with a hyphen symbol. Now going with a to b. And for a to b, there is no direction. So I will represent it with this an infinity. For a to c, there is an arrow mark with the cost value represented on top of it, which is 3. So I am writing the weighted value as 3. For A to D, there is no direction, so I am representing it as infinity. Similarly, I am filling all the other values. For B to A, there is a weighted value such as 2. And for B to C, it is infinity. B to B is also infinity. C to A is also infinity. Because there are no directions from, these, from B, from C to A. For C to B, it is 7. It is 7. For C to, C to D, it is 1. For D to A, it is 6. For D to B it is infinity and D to C it is again infinity. Now for the construction of the new weighted matrix, we will be using the formula. That will be the step 2. The formula will be weighted matrix is equal to the minimum values. We will get two values from that the minimum value will be considered. So for constructing of the D1 matrix, I will select the first row and the first column. This first row and first column will remain untouched. So I will write it as it is and the hyphens also will not be touched. So only the rest of the values will be filled with this formula. This wijk-1 represents the value which is already present. And this wik represents the value. So for suppose b to c is already infinity. That will be wijk-1. wik-1 represents the value 2 from the same respected row. And wkjk-1 repres uh, represents the value 3 which is in the same column. So 2 plus 3 will be 5 and this will be infinity. The minimum value will be 5. So I am replacing this infinity with 5. Similarly, I will be filling all the other values. For B to D, already given value is infinity. Wik will be 2 and Wkj, the respected column will be infinity. So 2 plus infinity is also infinity. Both are infinity, so there is no issue. I am again writing it as infinity. The rest of the values will be replaced with the same technique. So this will be 7 and this will be 1, this will be infinity and this will be 9 because 6, this wijk minus 1 will be infinity whereas wik and wkj will be 6 plus 3 which is 9. So the minimum value is 9. So I am writing 9 in the place of d and c. So for the construction of d2 matrix, I will be selecting the second row and the second column.
Now the second row and the second column will remain untouched. The hyphens also. Now we have to fill the rest of the values using the same formula. So for now, A to C is already given as 3. Wajk minus 1 is 3. Wik plus Wkj will be 5 plus infinity is infinity. The minimum value is 3. So again I am writing it as 3. The rest of the values will be filled using the same formula. So here it is 9. Because here we already we have the value as infinity. And Wik plus Wkj will be 7 plus 2 which is 9. So it is of minimum value. So I am replacing it. And here it is 1, 6, infinity and then it is 9. So for construction of the D3 matrix. I will be selecting the third row and the third column. We should write the third row and the third column as it is. And the hyphens also. Now the rest of the values are filled with the same formula. A to B is already there is infinity. But Wik plus Wkj will be 7 plus 3, 10, which is of a minimum value. So I am replacing it with as a 10. Then here it will be 4, 2, 6, 6, 16. And here it will be infinite. Because d to d, when i and j are equal, it is hyphen. So d to d, it is hyphen. Now let's go to the construction of the d4 matrix. So for B4 matrix, we have to select the 4th row and the 4th column. We will write it as it is. The rest of the values using the formula. So A to B is already what we have is 10. And the new value will be 16 plus 4, 20. So 20 or 10, 10 is the minimum value. So we will replace it with, so we will write as it is. Then here we have it as 3, 2, 5. Here it is 7, 7. Because for C to A already what we have is 9. But Wik plus Wkj will, uh, will result in 6 plus 1 which is 7. Which is of minimum value. So I am replacing 9 with 7. So this will be made will be the final matrix because it has no infinity we have replaced all the infinity with some finite values so this this will be the shortest distance from each node to all the other nodes thank you